So we actually forgot to film this bit and Chelsea wasn't here today. So welcome to episode nine, season six of Off The Couch. Today we're going to be interviewing some people about what's been happening with the Sedford. Let's get Off The Couch. I'm here with instrumental music instructor, Mr. Edwards. Now, Mr. Edwards, what did you actually do at the Sedford? So, uh, as one of the instrumental music teachers, I had a couple of different groups. I had uh, the Senior Wind Symphony. They performed in the concert band B section. Uh, and I also conducted the two year five immersion uh, concert bands that we had. Yeah, you would have been really busy with everybody. It was a very busy week, yeah. Yeah, yeah and so how did all of your groups go on the Sedford? Uh, they all did really well. The, uh, the Wind Symphony uh, received a highly commended, so they did really, really well. And the two year five uh, concert bands did really well as well. One got uh, 74 points and one got 75 points. Wow, so you'd be pretty happy with how everyone went. They all did themselves very proud, yeah. That's awesome. Thank you, Mr. Edwards. I'm here with Year 7 student Isla. Now, Isla, what did you do in the Estedford? Well, I did violin, so I was part of the senior string ensemble. And this weekend on Saturday, I'm going to perform for dance troupe. Yeah, that's really exciting. And how did you guys go at the Estedford for violin? Well, we came first. It was our first time in the big ensembles and we were versing Pimlico and Grammar and stuff, so it was a hard competition. But yeah, we ended up winning. Yeah, that's really impressive. You guys must be so proud. Yeah, yeah Thank we are. Thanks for that, Isla. I'm here with Finn. And Finn, what did you do at the Estedford? Uh, I was playing for a string, um, also known as violin, at the Estedford. And was it super fun? Yeah, it was nerve wracking. Really? And how long do you think you're at the Estedford for? A couple of hours, like maybe four. Was it really fun, like a really good experience? Yeah, it wasn't that nervous as I thought I would be. And how did you go at the Estedford? Uh, we came third place. That's really awesome. Do you reckon you do the Estedford again? Yes. <laughs> Thanks so much, Finn. I'm here with Miss Davies, our choir instructor at the school. Now, Miss Davies, what actually is the Estedford? So the Estedford originated as a competition in Wales. Um, it's always actually had its basis in being a, a choral competition, a competition about um, choirs and choral singing. Um, our Estedford in Townsville is a juvenile Estedford. It arcs across singing, instrumental music, um, speech and drama and dance. So it's actually a really big event. So it's grown a lot from its Welsh origins. But in essence, it's a celebration um, and a competition all in one. That's incredible. I love how knowledgeable you are about everything. <laughs> um, also, so what kind of stuff did you guys do leading up to this event, like practice and rehearsals and everything? We did a lot of rehearsal. Uh, our, the choir's grown a lot over the last um, year and a half, and so a part of our preparation was obviously getting our repertoire learnt, getting off book, which means being able to sing without music, rehearsing um, in stance formation, so standing um, in the positions that choristers were going to be at the actual Estedford. We also did... Um, just a lot of um, training on how to follow a conductor and then we did a lot of talking about how to behave when we were at the Estedford to make sure um, we, I guess, followed the Southern Cross way and made sure that other schools didn't look at us and wish we had behaved better, unlike <laughs> some schools. Wow, that's, I didn't realise so much went into it. I'm guessing you're happy with everybody, how everyone went? Yeah, definitely. I was so pleased with how the choir presented, both as a choir in terms of um, their singing. I think we did um, really, really well and we got some great um, feedback from the adjudicator, but I was also thrilled with how everyone behaved um, and how they represented the school. So yeah, it was 10 out of 10 from me. Really happy to hear that. Thanks, Miss Davies. Anytime. I'm here with Andrews and Reeve. And Andrews, what did you do at the Estedford? Uh, we sang a modern and a folk piece. And how did you go? Yeah, we went really well. Um, we placed first for one of our pieces. Um, and even though we didn't place for another one, uh, we still did really, really well. That's really amazing. And Reeve, what were your highlights of choir this year? Uh, my highlights would have been getting towards the Estedford performance. And then right before our performance, in the dressing room, the energy was just amazing. And would you do it again? Oh yeah, definitely. Thanks so much, boys. I'm here with Tanil, our dance troupe teacher. And Tanil, what are you doing at the Estedford? Chelsea, we are performing in the secondary dance group section. 
It's the first time we performed at the Estevford. Actually, it's the first time we performed outside of the school, so it's really exciting for us. And we'll be competing against 12 other schools. Wow. And what have you been doing leading up to the Estevford? We've been rehearsing every week, um, which has been a little bit challenging this term because we've had a few absences with camp, QCMF, Mulcady. Um, so the girls have been working really hard the last couple of weeks. It's, it's coming together. It's, it's coming together really nicely, actually, because on the weekend we did a two-hour full, full dress rehearsal, hair, makeup, costume, making sure everything's okay, ready to go for this weekend. Well, we wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much, Tanil. Thanks, Chelsea. Thanks to everybody who we interviewed about the Estedford and good work to everyone who performed and good luck to people who still need to perform. I'm sure everyone's really proud of you guys. We'll see you next time on Off The Couch.